Hey guys, Dave here, welcome back to another video. Um, okay, we're currently in lockdown and I wanted to show you guys what lockdown roads look like and here you go. This is lockdown roads for you. Um, very busy and normal looking. We're gonna go down some main roads today. Um, I am out for an essential reason, guys, don't worry. Uh, no law breaking going on here. Oof. Oh, honestly, I had a right mess with the last video. I don't know if you're going that way or not. I got confused then, that's new. Yeah, so, um, I switched from Power Director over to Adobe Premiere Pro. And so far, I played around with the settings, edited one video, and it took me about another two hours to edit it. And then, you know, it rendered in eight minutes, so I was shocked. And it turns out Adobe, um, you know, can just render so much faster and more efficiently. So it's just so much easier to make videos now. Um, and I can spend more time editing, um, more time editing, and less time rendering. But then I had the problem, so I edited in the morning ready for a half free upload. But instead, so this the video I'm on about now is the near miss and country road ride video. Um, I edited it, finished editing at 11, rendered it for 10 past 11, ready for upload at half free. I uh, started uploading it. It said it was only going to take, um, you know, an hour and a half to render. Um, uh, an hour and a half to upload, but instead it decided that it was going to take until 11 o'clock at night because the way that I'd done the settings was so that you guys see raw, high quality GoPro footage. It's like before I was rendering, I think it was about 30 megabytes per second, which is quite small. The GoPro, which is one of my kind of videos, which is a little bit blocky and chunky but I'm glad I figured that out now um, but what I'm more happy about figuring out is um, that now I can render in 80 megabytes per second and give everyone like proper GoPro footage yeah, it's, it's so much more motivating when it comes to making the actual video um, you know you can you guys can see more but uh, no, normally a video file for me is between so it's about two gig for a five minute one or for like the 15 20 minute one it's normally three to six gig depending on how much i put in it so i then had a huge problem because obviously i now doubled the quality done a huge 25 minute video my problem was the video file was over 15 gigabytes, which is a huge video file to upload. So it's up there just, you know, chunking through it. So it should have taken about, it normally takes me about an hour, 45 minutes to upload a standard video. So this video being like four or five times the size, which I didn't anticipate because the rendering was so quick, I thought it would be a bit smaller. Um, you know, it took hours. <laughs> I finally got it out at 11 and of course my dumb ass fell asleep um, when I when I woke up I had comments and messages from everyone saying your video is only 360p what have you done I was like oh no fell asleep and it went public because I scheduled it for 11 thinking it would have been done so obviously it went live way too early didn't finish processing it was just just a mess but I hope everyone's doing okay in lockdown but this is what a lockdown ride looks like. A lot of people move in places. Me being scared because of his lorry and car. But yeah, it's a pretty grim day. Today is the 10th, I think, the 9th or 10th. Uh, it's Monday the 9th or 10th, I can't remember. But this is just the start. So I guess things are still kind of changing and moving in. Um, but yeah, so it's quite nice to actually be able to still make videos while we're in lockdown. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to record that my channel was just going to die. So, I'm rather happy that that's not 
the case. I was really scared the lorry wanted to come into this lane and I just had a panic attack. <sighs> there we go, so this is what all the roads are looking like during a lockdown. You know, the UK's lockdown. Um, this is going to last for four weeks and it's made it incredibly hard for me to get a job, so thank you boys <laughs> for helping me to stay unemployed, but I've got job interviews and everything coming up. Um, Tesco, uh, Audi, warehouse operatives, Amazon, yeah, it's, it's great. So at least I don't have to sell the bike anymore to stay alive. It's so weird actually seeing cars out but still being in a lockdown. Alright, let's get ahead of that lorry because I don't trust lorries. I'm going to follow the van because that's going town centre too. Alright guys, I will catch up to you in just a minute where we'll talk further about lockdown. So continuing on our adventure, we're now going to go through town. Um, and I'm going to show you what town's looking like on lockdown because it was coming down round about... No, it was on the other side of where I live. Cut. So guys, continuing on our adventure, I'm going to be showing you the next place. Um, so we're going to go through town and have a look how busy it is. Uh, we had a look at another location in a few videos before, uh, in the final video, which I'm recording this one after, which is why I'm referencing it too much. Um, and I showed you how busy all the roads were, and now this is what the roads look like now. So obviously, you know, Straight off the bat, there's so much less busy. Well, there's nowhere near as many cars about, but there is still, you know, a lot of cars about. Just nowhere near as strict as the first lockdown. Uh, in the first lockdown, everyone was here to go outside because it was like a brand new thing. Nobody has taken it seriously. Not seriously, sorry, not as seriously. It's because we've gone from lockdown freedom to lockdown again. But in this lockdown, more things are open, so. You know, I just feel like there's not enough threat for everyone to want to stay inside again. So even schools are open still, so if, if you go to school, it's not even going to feel like a lockdown. forget about the zebra crossing all the time okay so next week is the final giveaway results uh, for the channel if you jump over on discord you can you know sign up to um, you can sorry I'm really struggling to talk at the moment <laughs> you go onto discord and then go into the meetup and apply to be in the giveaway the giveaway is I come over to you and we make a video together, a one-on-one -on -one video where you know I'll be riding with and then your name. You know, it's something fun, simple, you don't have to do anything to apply, just simply press you know the little emo um, emoji icon and then that'll randomly withdraw your name. I'm not asking you to you know send money, follow, like, you don't have to do any of that. You don't even have to be subscribed to my channel to win. Just Go press that button and you're yeah, entered to win. But, but that's it. So the Discord is down below. Press that link, go join the server. Everyone talks on there. It's not just a server where you talk about me. You know, we, we never talk about me. <laughs> it's still, we hang out, we have a good time. We talk about bikes. There's like 70 members, I think, at the moment. And we all support each other, give each other mechanical help. So if you're questioning something and need some help, then definitely jump on the Discord. People are going to help you straight away. Do not change web traffic lights. So, you know, it's a great server to be on and I'm happy that everybody that joined it has because everything is just, 
You know, it's so much nicer for me to have an open communication window. And is it me or is my riding style really, really bad today? I just don't feel like I'm, I'm doing a good job. I'm going around the outside here, you pulled a little bit too close to me. Guys, anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and please do subscribe. Uh, I'm sorry this was a bit more of a dead video, me just riding around talking about bollocks. But anyway, guys, have a good day. Bye bye, booey!